It's got to be true, right? The scale that we use to measure things can't be the right one. There's got to be something bigger, an infinite scale that we will never be aware of. Could our entire universe just be an atom of another universe much bigger than ours? Could all we know and love just be part of the shell of an ant, um, blissfully unaware of what it is responsible for? One bad move on his behalf, one fall, could mean the end of our universe as well as many others. Likewise, as I scratch my skin, am I destroying millions of worlds? I could be, and you could be too. I've often thought, if this is how easy it is for a universe to be destroyed, why are we still around? It could probably come down to probabilities. Sure, millions of things are destroyed each second, but many more aren't. And so we've probably got a very small probability of being spontaneously destroyed. But if the theory is true, then it will eventually be us. We will eventually be that itch that someone destroys. Another reason why we may have survived so long is that we might be on a very different time scale to the other universe. Because we would be so small in comparison and because time is relative, a huge speed for us could be a tiny speed for the other universe. And a second for them could be hundreds of years for us. So does this mean that doomsday could have already started? Could someone's shoe already be closing down on the ant which we are a part of, but it, our passing of time means that it'll still be hundreds of years before we feel the effects? Or is our doomsday closer than we thought?